This is the full length video on how to use cordless and corded drills in the lab safely and effectively. <laughs> Alright, so today we're going to go over how to use uh, cordless and corded drills. There's a couple different ways uh, that corded, cordless drills work. Uh, the basic thing is that you got to give any kind of drill a power source, you got to put in the battery. Um, now, for this drill, this drill is special because it doesn't have any right tight left to loosey to tighten the drill bit. All you do is you pull the ring up here, like so. And then you just put the drill bit in, wait for the lock in place, and now it's in there. There you go. Um, obviously, you can if you put the drill to the right, it's going to spin left. If you push the button to the left, it's going to spin right. Uh, this drill is very much the same thing. To cord this drill, all you have to do is put in the power for putting the battery in, let it go. Trigger makes it go. Uh, this, is, this drill is different though um, because you actually have to turn, you have to tighten the bit in there. Uh, so what we're going to use right here is a metal drill bit. And all you do is uh, all you do is you put it in, let it spin to the right a little bit, let it tighten in, make sure it's nice and snug in there. And now you have a nice even drill bit for a good cut. Um, just a couple other things is this is a, called a masonry bit. You use this to work with stones or anything like that. We're not going to use it today. And this is also a wood spade bit. Uh, it makes a nice cut. Uh, it's also just you know, a very technical bit. Cord this drill right here. Uh, these tend to be a little higher RPM, a little higher torque. Uh, but the only difference between this and the other drills is that you have to plug it in. Plug in, go. So just how to use some of these drills is you have to make sure that when you're going in, you're spinning to the right, obviously. And then you also have to take proper safety precautions, wear safety glasses. Uh, also make sure that to clamp, uh, clamping your wood is never a bad idea. It keeps your work in place so you get a more accurate and safe cut. Uh, so when you're going in, make sure you have a nice downward force and that you're making the bit spin to the right. Spin to the left on the way back out. Nice clean hole right there. Same theory applies for the wood spade bit. To finish up, we're going to show you how to screw in a screw using a drill and a Phillips head bit. Uh, you can use anything else uh, in here. For example, in this kit, there are some flathead bits. Uh, there's also Torx bits and stuff. Uh, it's really a bit for any kind of screw or bolt you're going to be using. Make sure you go into the right and you're applying a nice constant downward force into the screw. And then when you come back out, apply a downward force, not, clearly not as strong, but you still want to have a downward force to keep the bit inside the screw. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use a screwdriver. Also, note that uh, sometimes when you use screws, they can be hot.